Today's conversation is going to be with Simon J and Luke Shrestha from Chapters Music. If you're familiar with Only Murders in the Building, Euphoria, This Is Us, and many other projects, then you've heard their work. Super pumped to have them collaborate with our project. So let's not waste time. Let's get right into it. <laughs> it's already enough that we're doing a reaction video. <laughs> we're doing a reveal. That's true. Speak of which, I don't know what that reveal is. So you what told you me to get together in a surprise meeting. I know it's about the project that we're doing, but yeah. you said there's a reveal. Yes. I'm curious. There's a big reveal. I mean, this whole week is a reveal of all of our you know, materials for everyone. But I have been sort of doing my little sneaky thing off the side that I haven't even told you about. So one of the things that I have been taking charge of is uh, for many, many months is working with like insanely talented musicians to complete um, a theme for our score. And I've had like the insane honor of working with Luke Shrestha and Simon Jay at Chapters Music. Um, okay. And they actually did a score for us, which blows my mind because these guys, uh, they are the music directors for This Is Us. They are the music directors for Only Murders in the Building, which I know you are obsessed with. Um, and they volunteered because they like uh, this project to okay. do the theme. And then they're going to sign on to do the, the, you know, the full score once we have it, everything up and running for the, for the full film. Um, but yeah, so the surprise is that I have an actual theme for our film to uh, play you. And I decided like, okay, I could send you it in an email and be like, check this out. It's awesome. <laughs> or, or I could broadcast to the entire world your beautiful little punam all lit up with joy uh, <laughs> as you as you uh, you know listen to it for the first time with everyone else with an entire audience okay i like that twist i like it you like it okay cool. i'm very curious it's beyond it's i mean honestly it's too good for our film <laughs> that's the pitch what we have is too good okay. okay all right all right one two play Oh, that's very emotional. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That's it's bonkers. I can't believe you got these people on board. That's awesome. I have so many more to come. Them. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited for them to join us. Uh, so, yeah, let's not keep you or everyone else waiting. Let's okay. uh, without further ado. We got Simon J. We got Luke Thresta of uh, Chapters Music. Hi, guys. Uh, well, Luke and Simon meet. Uh, Jean Denis Haas, JD. This has been a long freaking time coming, uh, and I can't believe that I was able to keep you guys secret from him for that long. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. Yeah, to I, just heard, yeah, I, I just heard. I just heard the music, it. and it's so good. It's so Thank good. You. I have so many Thank questions. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I want to know how did Dimitri convince you to do this? Because it's like oh, this is our like project on the side we're trying to get this going and then we have you know trying to get people to help us out and then you guys are coming in and then the level goes way up yeah. so Elevates. how, how did that happen what happened there well, we met dimitri on a film it was like 2018 probably with one yeah. of our our buddies and we were just really impressed with 
the the constraint it was like this a 60 second film you had to tell the whole story in 60 seconds and, and get everything across yeah. and you know it was everything about the the short was very intentional like everything was there for a reason every shot was was composed perfectly to tell the story mm -hmm. and we're in a position in our careers right now where we just want to work with people who like not just know what they're doing but have like something to say and when we took that initial meeting everyone just seemed like everyone was shared the same vision and were bringing their talents and abilities and skills and everybody you know very very talented people so we felt like we were in really good company so of course <laughs> we were on we were on board for this because we also share that same mission statement where we're very intentional with what we do yeah and uh, musically i'm sure you can tell as well that every note was was placed very intentionally so we just want to work with with people that kind of share our interests in that wow can you guys talk a little bit about your background the, the amazing projects you've worked on to me you guys are just like modern virtuosos and you know that i've told you that a lot um <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we we both came from classical backgrounds, so um, I think Simon, when did you start piano? Like, like four, three or four, yeah. Yeah, and I started around yeah. three or four too. So and violin around that time. So we're we're both we both have that classical gene in us, which I think kind of comes through in in this uh, particular theme as well. Um, it's kind of a similar situation with film, too, mm -hmm. where this view of terrestrial. It's like, okay, what's what's the sound? of terrestrial and you know it took a lot of brainstorming on our end like what what do we yeah. think this could be and i know um early on we talked about kind of marrying the sound design elements of the film with the the music it's always really cool to be able to tell the story of the movie through the music you know it's yeah. you're not using words you're not using you know scripts it's you know all music that we're trying to tell the story of the film finding what what the emotions are the little tiny things in each of the films that maybe even the the watcher won't even know about until it's acknowledged in the music yeah, yeah. sort of thing so um yeah it's it's been awesome there's a project we did uh, a few years ago the first season of only murders in the building and yeah. we put up a little bts of how the score was recorded on uh on our tiktok I and oh, I oh yeah i saw that yeah the, yeah the top comment is like oh my god when i heard I don't want to spoil anything, but like I, I knew who the killer was because when the bassoon theme came up, like I knew that that was like, <laughs> nice. oh, nice. was going That's on. Awesome. so there's like this audience payout, like eight episodes later yeah. that we set up way before yeah, where yeah. you're like kind of hinting at it. And people are like, like, I freaking knew it. I knew he was the bad guy. Yeah. And you go yeah. back and you listen to the score and you're like, I know yeah, that how this theme has kind of developed and you mm -hmm. can That's kind cool. of understand it on a different yeah. on a different level like you can yeah, almost yeah. tell the story with the music so that's something we we try to we try to accomplish this with this as well mm -hmm. creating a theme that could be molded and melded depending on the scene depending on the characters but like mm -hmm. we were talking a lot about the theme thematically being less about like like oh it's this character theme but it's like the idea of mm -hmm. like fatherhood and like like uh parental relationships rather than like oh this character and this characters because the theme felt like it could make more sense and be more moldable with that kind yeah. of idea rather than oh this is princess leia's theme or right. like what like the force theme is like it, it's so much more like um expandable you know into the universe yeah. i think that's what that's what i really loved about it like when you guys first sent me the draft it makes sense that it's a waltz because this is about a relationship between a father and a son and that yeah. son transitioning into becoming a father himself and so it's really it's a dance between those characters and 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 what better way to to illustrate that and through sound with um a waltz i'm just curious what, what's your process when you when you talked to him when you looked at all this like how do you how did you come up with with the theme yeah well it was really interesting um we had a few different ideas when we first started on it with my three or four ideas and um this the one that ended up being the one was the very first idea we did and yeah. um i think the main thing was really focusing on the father-son relationship you know mm -hmm. like dimitri was saying it wasn't this isn't just another sci-fi film it has a very specific message and storyline that's trying to convey that doesn't always have to do exactly with like the sci-fi nature it's a lot more about the father-son relationship so mm -hmm. kind of leaning into that and what what that sounds like in the context of this story was kind of the conversation what we we're trying to to convey with the music and you know the piano the waltz feel it's almost a coming of age too in some ways where mm -hmm. you know the songs 
you know, maturing into a whole, almost another person, a father, it was definitely all very much inspired by what we were initially talking about how, you know, uh, the, the relationship is kind of the forefront okay. more than, more than anything. That's kind of the over overlying summary of the, the film and the short. Um, so that's kind of what we tried to convey to the music. And something yeah. for us too, we, we had this conversation with, with Dimitri when we first met, but you know, because we started music so young, we really understand music as like a communication tool because we started it when we were like three or four. Mm -hmm. like we're learning language at the same time we're learning music. So for us, music is like another language. So yeah. upon yeah. like talking about this with Dimitri, we were kind of like, oh, okay. Um, like how, how are we going to translate this? Like literally like, not like, oh, like notes and whatever, theory, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But we were literally like, how are we going to translate like this? Like you would like English to French or what, whatever it is, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Kind of like one of those things where how can we convey that emotion in, in a different way? And Do you put that, since you know, it's, it's more like language versus notes, but do you start that on the piano? Like how do you develop the theme? Do you hum it? Do you talk to each other and, and do like finger drops or something? Or how, how do you do this? <laughs> Uh, this one, we started on the piano. Um, I, I had this idea for a melody and we kind of just ran with it. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, every every idea, every song or cue or theme is always just so different in how it evolves or comes about. Sometimes it might be like a voice memo that you record real quick and kind of forget about for years. Right. Other times it's, you know, you, you know, piano or guitar. It's every idea just has a different inception. But um, I think both of us are kind of drawn towards the piano. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of like the people that are so picky in either sonics or the actual musicality like of the of the notes where we'll play a chord and we're like, wait, 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 wait. There's like a, there's a note in there. Let's take that out. And then we'll take one note out and it'll completely change the color. We're like, yes. Yeah. Where it's mm -hmm. people are like, oh, a G chord, let's play a G chord. But like, we're like G, like, and we're messing around with the other notes that could kind of color it in a way where it's, it has a different emotion and you can, you can tell if you're playing an F major chord, it's like, oh, a happy chord, F major seven, oh, a jazz chord. You change one note, <laughs> completely, completely changes the entire feeling and composition of the chord. And then sonically as well on the sound design, it's kind of that principle, but with the actual sonics, like, oh, like taking out the high end of this will make it feel more sinister or like taking out the low end will make it feel brighter and happy. You know, we're really just really getting into the nitty gritty of, of the specifics of all this for like, not just like, notes and chords the actual the melody and like the the overarching chords were done you know in 10 minutes you know it, oh, it was wow. a really quick process but then where it's like okay we need to change this chord a little bit we need to change this we need to add the sound design and all the detail work is what takes so long but the initial idea you know for us it's just like let's let it flow that's why we do three or four ideas typically for a project so we can kind of you know not be like okay this is going to be the idea we have to make this great it's just like mm -hmm. Let it flow out, let whatever comes, comes, and then move on to the next idea, move on to the next idea. So we probably did, you know, three, four ideas in a few hours and then just came back to this one because it just felt right. Yeah, yeah. We, we really think art is a collaborative experience, too. Even if it's just one person making it, you have the audience looking at it. <laughs> so it's like everything is, is collaborative in a way. And um, yeah, we do have a really good shorthand between each other and also like the players because they're in the studio. So often but you know everyone that we get to work with you know we people we respect and mm -hmm. they have like a different piece of the puzzle and we're like wow we get to have them in, and like we get to talk and discuss these things and further the idea and even challenge the idea you know because yeah. we might have the or i might have an idea and luke is like no just like that just does not bring me into that world at all and and then it we were, we were like okay okay like let's figure this out why so you get to dig down a rabbit hole with collaborators that you trust and respect to like get yeah. the actual best answer not what somebody or somebody else wants like everyone's bringing something to the table that's so unique and specific it's so good <laughs> i mean I, I haven't even said thank you but now you know thank you so much for doing that it's it's really cool oh yeah it of was, course it was super fun and it, it is so important for everyone to be open and also mm -hmm. willing to go places that you didn't expect to go so that's yeah. kind of you know, I hope what was achieved through the process of collaboration too was just, you know, we we came to the conclusion of what we have now as the theme mm -hmm. through the process of all of us putting our heads together and being like, okay, where where is this going? How can we make this better? 
is this conveying the correct motion? Just and trying to answer all those questions. So yeah. I think I think we did. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I am beyond excited one to show everyone uh, this this video. We're talking to you guys and JD's really like really fun. Really like it's like a kid in candy store. Uh, for the very first time, um, <laughs> his reaction to listening to it, uh, and also just kind of showing the world the 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 level that we're reaching, like the the level, the amount of excellence that we're bringing to this um, from every angle, um, and well, the excellence and, just went way up. <laughs> yeah, way That's up goal. yeah, and the story yeah. is already so cool. I, I can't wait for the story to just be out there in the film. It's it's going to be so cool for people to to watch it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep building and uh, we're going to make this thing happen. Amazing. Definitely. Let's do it. Sounds mm -hmm. good. And thanks again for, for joining. I know you guys are super busy. So just to find a time, I really appreciate it. So it's, a, yeah. it's a pleasure to talk to you and to have that surprise. So thank you so much. Of course. It's good to meet you as well. Yeah. Good to meet you, JD. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. See you all later. Well, see you guys. Bye. That was it for part two. Come back on Friday for part three, which is going to be a bit more acting related. That's all I'm going to say. So stay tuned and come back.